Hey guys, God bless you. God wants you to know that the body of Christ is right now stepping through the door of a season of restoration and that your Father in Heaven has seen everything that the devil has stolen from you and all the hurts that he has caused and that that time is over. That God is going to restore all that the devil has stolen and give you more blessings just as the Bible says. And we're going to be looking at that on Saturday night at 6 o'clock at Gen Next. We're going to look at 1 Samuel chapter 13. 30, David in the story of Ziklag and the restoration that the Lord brought him. And a key scripture that the Lord has highlighted that we're really going to dive into is in uh, verse 6 in that story where everyone has turned against him. And the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord and how important that lesson is for us. It doesn't matter where you are right now, maybe today in your life, but maybe not tomorrow, but there is going to be a moment in all of our lives moving forward that there's not going to be anyone to answer your phone call. There's no one returning your text and all hell will be breaking loose. And the only way to actually get through the situation is to be able to know how to encourage yourself in the Lord. And that is such an amazing thing that the Lord is wanting us to dive into and to to press in on and pray into to realize and learn how to do that. When those things are taking place and it's just you and knowing that you can connect to the Lord in just an instant, that the Holy Spirit is always there with you. God wants you to know in those moments, he wants you to prophesy the promises that he has given you in his word about the ultimate victory that you will have in your life. the ultimate things that God is leading you to, proclaiming that, yes, I am an overcomer. Yes, that everything that I have uh, is from the Lord, that God will provide everything that I need, that there's nothing that can't, the Lord will not overcome in my life according to his will as I'm being guided by the Holy Spirit. We need to know those promises and have them in our belt for the moment that when those situations take place and they ultimately will at some point in our life and many times through Throughout our life because we are battling not against flesh and blood but principalities and dark spirits that come against the body of Christ and us that are walking in the spirit and representing for the kingdom of God here on earth there is going to be trials and there's going to be tribulations and a key thing that God wants us to know is that we have to be able to encourage ourselves in him as we walk through this season of restoration because the devil does not want you to be restored. He wants to continue to push back and block your blessings, but I'm here to tell you that the fire of the Holy Ghost can burn up any plans that the enemy has, that the devil cannot stop what God is doing in your life. We got to walk in the anointing, walk in the calling, and walk in the direction of the Holy Spirit that he is so certainly leading the body of Christ in. And Saturday night at 6 o'clock, clock we're going to take a deep deep look at that and we want you to bring your friends and everyone that you can that you know in their life and in our own lives if we're going to be honest we all need a little bit of restoration in one area or not so we are going to do something different god has been putting on my heart to do something different other than the traditional let's sit down sing some songs and and do an offering and, and preach a message it's about every single person that comes into the presence of the lord it's not about the worship leader or the preacher or any other of the leaders in the ministry it's about every single person every single person has a calling every single person has a thing that God wants to do powerfully through and we got to allow everyone to step into that when we gather together in a corporate anointing and allow the Holy Spirit to flow the way that he does. So on Saturday night, we are going to have a restoration service. We're going to have a circle. God has shown me and my wife when we've received the exact same vision within two days of each other. Extremely, extremely exciting. And we've shared that with people and they they witness in the Holy Spirit of what God is showing us in that time. We are going to allow anyone who, who, who needs restoration in our area and wants to get prayed for, we are going to circle around them and the circle represents the the Lord has shown this to me, the the never-ending love of Jesus. It is endless. It is endless, the love of the Father. It is endless. Uh, The Holy Spirit 
circle of protection around those who are walking in the will of Jesus Christ and proclaiming Jesus as their Lord and Savior as they walk. That is another thing that the circle represents. It also represents the unity of the body of Christ. It represents the unity of the spiritual family that we are at Gen Next. And we want to invite you to be a part of that the spiritual family and I'm telling you right now that God is going to move in a powerful powerful way because he always does and it has nothing to do with me or anybody else in the group it has to do with anyone that comes together in the name of Jesus and then steps out in faith and seeking him he shows up every time and when you come in faith and you step into what you believe he has for your life, the restoration and the promises that are in the word of God that we are going to be standing on Saturday night at 6 o'clock here in Naples, Florida. We're going to see the fire of God fall and we're going to see chains falling and we're going to see hearts that were broken be brought back together and people who were anxious will have a peace of the Lord and people who were depressed will now have joy in their life. People who were addicted will be saved set free in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, you're going to want to be a part of it. Saturday night, 6 o'clock Gen Next. We love you very much and we love what God is doing and we are stirring up things in the atmosphere in Jesus' name. God bless you. We'll see you Saturday.